So, Bezot Hashem, we're continuing with Torah Lamed Chet, 38, Likute Moran, and we learn that the mountains, based on the breath, spirit of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, that the righteous people, they, all of their wisdom is based on the will of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, because the breath and the power of speech of the person are revealing the heart, the holy desire of the person that says those things. So actually when HaKadosh Baruch Hu reveals and speaks and say what that he's got to say, so in that moment he actually reveals his inner will. Righteous people that are talking to us and sharing with us, they're actually revealing from the wisdom of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, from the real inner will of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. That's why I read a few days ago that um, all of the parnasa, the bounty, the shefa, the wealth, ashirut, all depends in the kedusha of the person. How much the person is holy, that's how much you're going to have parnasa. And we can see that actually you have a lot of people that are struggling with parnasa, even though they are very holy. And from the other side, you can see a lot of people that are not so holy, and they have tons of money. They have a lot of parnasa. So what's going on here? And then I read that it's written that it's true that you have that way of private supervision of Hashem Barach on on Am Israel that according to the level of purity of the nation, so corresponding to that, so Parnassah is going to come. But it's also written, V'amech Yisrael kulam tzadikim, that all of Am Yisrael are righteous. And from that aspect, so also all of Am Yisrael deserve to have Parnassah, so they can have Parnassah even if they're not holding so high in the levels of Parnassah. So what's going on here? Is it depends in my purity, or it's not depends in my purity? Or, so. Like we said, there is a certain path that you're going to lead you in that path. And you're going to decide which path. You're going to choose how they're going to lead you. If a person wants to chase after himself and blame himself all of his life and to say, no, I'm not holy, so they're going to show you, you're right, you're not holy. You're very far actually from purity and you have a lot to work. Or if that's your will, but if a person wants to understand Hashem, He loves me. And Hashem Barach, He loves me with no limits, with no limitations. He just loves me. And, 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 and everything that, that I have in this world, in the world of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, is coming out of His loving kindness to me. That is love with no, with no, with no uh, limitations, with, without, without no reason, just because that He loves us so much, like a father that have mercy on his children, and He loves us, and He just gives us, to us, to each and every one of us. And when you understand that, and, 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 and when you follow that, so Hashem is going to lead you um, according to those new rules, that actually there are not so many rules over there, and everything depends in the love of the Creator, of the Father to His Son. Means if you decide to serve Hashem Barach under nature, under the rules, the obligations of nature, so Hashem is going to supply you the bounty according to rules of nature. If you worked enough hours, you're going to have your salary. Or if you decide to work by the limitations of, of, of a certain book that you read, some book of Hasidut or some book of Halakha or I don't know what, and that's where you set your mind. You say, okay, those are the rules and I'm going to... I'm going to obey and I'm going to cooperate and I'm going to work through, I'm going to receive my panasa through that channel. So, okay, so Kadosh Baruch Hu can lead you through that channel. No, no problem at all. It's okay. But if you search always for something inner and you always want something inner and you will never going to be satisfied from nothing and you always say, no, but I know that there is more to it and I know that Kadosh Baruch Hu is beyond everything. So HaKadosh Baruch Hu is going to have to show you that He's actually beyond nature and that there are no rules and no limitations and no constrictions at all. Because Hashem Barach Himself, He Himself, beyond His names, 
beyond all of the ways that we're going to describe him and going to and going to explain to ourselves his wisdom and his logic and his power just we're going to cross that we're going to ignore all of that and we're going to believe in the pnimiyut in the inside of akadosh baruch Hu, in him himself not we're not denying his names we're not saying no those are not his names they are his names but it depends in the level of the person and if there's a person that is throwing himself on Hashem Yitbarach always without thinking about nothing because he couldn't care less not about the world to come if you're going to live forever not going to live forever going to be rewarded will not going to be he doesn't care about all of those things for him it's nonsense it's it's not a discussion who cares about that he's just Okay, so I won't. Uh, who cares? I have something to do now. I have something that's a lot more important than if I'm going to have a life in the world to come or not. And it can be even just to bring a sandwich to your kid to school if 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 you forgot it or something. It it can be something so minor, something so 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 um, not in 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 the center of the universe. We're not talking about the purpose. Just we're talking about a person that is committing himself to Hashem and he doesn't care about nothing else except of just just to make him pleased, just to make him happy. That's my will, to search what Hashem wants for me now. And if you just think like that, without, no, but I'm late for work. No, but I have to do this. No, but I have to do... You're just trying to listen to the inner voice, to the voice of Hashem. What Hashem is saying to me now in the present. So Hashem is going to be with you in the present always. If you live with Him, with no watch, with no clock, with no time, with no... You just, Hashem, what do you need? Hashem, what do you want? Hashem, I'm here for you. So Hashem is going to be there for you always, whenever you're going to need Him. Like that, whenever He needs you, you're there. Even if you're tired, even if you're late, even if you're busy, even if you're afraid, you're committing yourself to Him, so He will show you the same face, exactly the same face He's going to show to you. So you see that you have a lot of levels, and, the, and, and it all depends on the will of Hashem it Barach. means we need to nullify ourselves to Hashem it Barach in the present, now. means in that moment, to see what Hashem wants from me now. And now, if you connected yourself to Hashem Yitbarach, you can bring down the Shefa of Hashem Yitbarach, the will of Hashem Yitbarach. Because Hashem Yitbarach, His name is Havaya, Havaya Baruch Hu. The meaning of the word Havaya means the present. It's happening now. That's Him. He is happening now. He's here. Past already past. It's an imagination. You cannot hold your past. You cannot hold, grab your past. You, it, it, it passed already. It's, you don't have it in your hands. And the future, for sure, it's a bunch of imaginations. You don't have no future in your hands. You, don't, you cannot set the future. You cannot decide what's going to be in the... The future is beyond your reach. It's far from you. You don't have the power to grab it, to hold it. It's not in your hands. Not the past. It's not exist. Where is it? Can you, can you bring it back? You can, it's, it's not here. And the future already also went, is not here. You, you cannot find it. You cannot understand it. The only real thing that you have is the present. And in the present, you have everything you need. If you understand that Hashem Yitbarach is with, with you in the present. So from that moment that you focus on that and you understand the will of Hashem Yitbarach now in the present and you search for that and you ask for that and you say, Hashem, please let me understand you. I want to feel you. I want to feel your will. I want to know what you want for me and I want to nullify myself to you. And if now it means that I need to apologize, I'm going to apologize. And if now it means that I need to work, I'm going to work. If now it means I need to sweat, I'm going to sweat. If now it means that I need to go to sleep, I'm going to go to sleep. No matter what you need for me, I'm going to do. If you live like that with Hashem Yitbarach, so you live Hashem Yitbarach. You live with Hashem Yitbarach. Hashem Yitbarach is with you together. You and Him are one. And then you have all of His powers and His will is going to be revealed through you, through your actions. means that if you're going to pray or if you're going to teach, like we said before, that the mountains based on the mouth of the breath of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, means that the wisdom, the will of Hashem Yitbarach is going to be revealed from the mouths of the righteous people. Because they are connected to him, so when they're going to open their mouth, they're going to open a channel to reveal his will. Because they are connected to him. Because they're connecting themselves to him in the present. 
because they're always saying, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, what do you want from me? What can I do for you? Numa, what else can I do for you? What else can I do for you? How can I understand you more? How can I serve you more? How can I commit myself to you more? How am I going to understand you more? How are my acts going to reveal your name, going to re- respect your name, going to do Kiddush Hashem, that people are going to see me and going to say, wow, we want to be like him. We want to serve Hashem also. Not to be like him. It means to be like that he is close to Hashem. We want to be like that also and then in all of your actions Hashem is gonna, 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 gonna shine His light gonna shine on you and all of your acts all of your actions gonna help other people to prepare themselves also to commit themselves to Hashem to commit themselves to Hashem now it's time to listen <laughs> And like we said yesterday, from the moment that a person is committing himself to Hashem Barach, immediately Yetzara is jumping on that. Immediately, like that we saw Adam Bechava in the creation, in Bereshit. In the beginning, before of the first mitzvah, it was even first Shabbos, it was just about to happen. And Yetzara is jumping all, all over the place, spreading himself. On, why? Because that's, that's his nature. That's the, that's, that's the decision of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. That's what HaKadosh Baruch who made HaKadosh Baruch Hu made it happen to be like that that you're going to have a storm Yetzirah on every situation on every pure understanding that you got in Avodat Hashem immediately Yetzirah is jumping on that so you need to know the word Sarah when, uh, when, when, when you have Sarah so Sarah in, in the, the there are four letters in, in the word Sarah inside you have Ein and Resh so it's Ra it's bad something bad in it, but also you have hey and you have Samech. And hey, it's the name of Hashem it Barach, we all know that. And Samech, it's infinity, it's a closed letter that shows to us on, on, on the nature that it's all circle, that it's infinite, that it's endless. So you see that Hashem it Barach, he, even though that there is something bad, but from the sides, HaKadosh Baruch Hu is wrapping that. It's from... It's a creation of Hashem Barach, even that bad, like that it's written on Avraham Avinu, Behi Baream, that the small letter Hey of He Baream, that Hashem made it all to happen, that letter Hey is the breath of Akadosh Baruch Hu. So Hashem made it all. Hashem made it all. So even the bad things that you see that are even in the center of your life, even the Mamash damaging you and, and disturbing you and, 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 and confusing you. Even if it's so dramatic, even if it's, it's much like a thorn in the middle of your life, it's like a storm in the middle of your life, and you don't know what to do, and you don't know how to deal, and, you, and, 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 and it's storming, and, and it's damaging all, and Mamash moving you from the center, it's so bad for you. Hashem made it all to happen. And you need to connect yourself, like we said yesterday, to connect yourself to that understanding that it's all coming with a purpose. It's all coming from the supervision of, of HaKadosh Baruch Hu himself. He's arranging it all. He's bringing it. And why is doing all of that? That we're going to be humble. That we're going to learn from our life experience. That we're not going to fall to sadness, to depression, to say, no, it's too hard. Learn from those difficulties. No matter what you go through in your life, you should know. That there are people that are suffering a lot more than you, that's for sure. For sure, for sure. You should know that for sure. And even if you think, no, but I'm suffering more than everyone, trust me, there are people that are suffering a lot more than you. And in that moment you understand, I have a lot of things to thank Hashem it Barach on. I have to thank Hashem and I have to praise Hashem. And I can recognize His good. And I can recognize the good thing that He's doing with us. And I can understand His kindness. And I can see if I'm going to observe and I'm going to try to believe that it's all coming from the kindness, from the, the open, wide and rich and wealthy hand of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And he's also bringing storms, also bringing difficulties into my life. But I need to learn some lesson. I'm not saying immediately jump and thank Hashem Barach, hugs and kisses to Hashem Barach on your difficulties. I'm not saying to lie when you're suffering, when you have pains. I'm saying just to observe, just to look. The fact that it's hard for you to accept that it's from Hashem doesn't deny the fact that it's Hashem. It, it is Hashem. 
It's hard, so talk about it that it's hard for you. Ask Hashem in Barach, I want to understand how to thank you on that situation. Don't jump to thank you, yeah, thank you Hashem, thank you, thank you, thank you, like nothing happened. No, it won't be a, a, a real hit but a dude. Those words of thanks will not going to come straight from your heart. It's going to be fake, it's going to be a lie. You're not really appreciate Hashem Barach on things that are bothering you now, on things that are disturbing your life now. You don't have that pure heart, but you can ask for that heart. You can start asking and begging, Hashem Yitbarach, please, let me understand the ways of your supervision. Please, why are you doing that? Why every time I'm falling to the same situations? Why the same difficulties? Every time on Parnassah, every time on Shlom Bayit, every time with the children, every time with the house, every everyone gonna, 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 gonna talk his situations to the Bodedu, to the field. And when you have that simple faith that it's all coming from Hashem Yitbarach and you observe and you look into those things, the things that you're going to understand, the wisdom that you're going to purchase from those situations, no one will ever going to be able to teach you things and lessons like that you can learn alone in the field. The conclusions and the, and the clarity and the understandings that you're going to have, the wisdom that you're going to purchase in the field, in the Yitbodedut, is going to be so, so huge, so, so awesome, so amazing, that, that, you, that you're going to feel the spiritual development, that you're going to feel closer to Hashem. And then you're going to be able to thank Hashem in Barach from a pure heart, from an honest heart. Just to say, if they were respecting me with their lips, with their mouth, and saying, thank you, Hashem, thank you, no, thank you, th yeah, you need to say thank you, thank you, thank you. And the heart is far, and the heart is not happy from that situation at all. He's angry, he's frustrated, he's broken, and he's angry, and he wants to fight, and he doesn't know what to do with himself. And now, they told me you need to think. It's a lie. To think like that with a contaminated heart, with a broken heart, it won't be a real thank. It won't be a real um, sacrifice of, 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 of gratitude. It won't be korban todah. Korban todah is a sacrifice that you understand what you're doing. You understand that you sinned. You understand that you need to bring a sacrifice. You want to thank Hashem. You bring that sacrifice. You bring it. And then you give it. You offer it to Hashem. You confess on, on, on the sacrifices. You talk to Hashem. When you have a long process of your Yidbodedut, when your Yidbodedut is coming from an honest place, then also the thanks and the praises that you're going to praise Hashem Yitbarach are going to bring down that light that, 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 that gratitude and thanks are, are, are holding, are containing. But for that, a person needs to have that inner truth between himself, him to himself, to be honest with yourself. If now it's hard for you, if now you feel far from Hashem Yitbarach, on that you need to talk. And you need to believe that Hashem Yitbarach, He loves you enough to accept all of your complaints and all of your arguments and all of your questions and all of your doubts. And he's there for you. And he rather to listen your truth than that you're going to, I don't know what, try to plaster your life like, like everything is amazing and beautiful and, and, and great and, and it's all going to be a fake. It's all just like another, another patch and another patch and you, you, you hide, you hide the, 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 the moist another layer, another paint, and every few months he's covering again. No, another, another thing collapsed in his life and he's, he's denying. He said, no, everything is good. I call it tova, I call it tova. And then he's got more issues in Shlom Bayit. And then he said, no, I call it tova, I call it... And he's not fixing. Hashem wants us to fix things in the roots. And Hashem will give us the powers to do that. You just need to be brave enough to stand and to confront your fears and not to be afraid from the fears themselves. You just need to stand and to say, what's the worst that can happen to me? What can happen to me? I'm going to die? So what? And if I'm going to die? Anyway, I'm going to die one day. So who cares when it's going to happen? Do I have a promise that it's going to happen tomorrow and not today? In two years and not tomorrow? In five years and not in two years? Do you know that you're going to live until 120? You don't know. You need to serve Hashem in the present. So serve Him. Without planning, no, but I want to have long life. No, but I want to be rewarded in the world to come. No, but I want to complete my tshuva. Maybe you completed your tshuva five years ago and you don't know. Maybe you don't know your level. Maybe you don't know where you're standing at all in Abu Hashem. Maybe you don't have a clue who are you at all. Let's, let's face it. 
You don't know who you are. You don't know who you are at all, at all, at all. You don't know what's your life story. You don't know who are you. You don't know why you've been sent to this world. You don't know if you're righteous. You don't know if you're the worst sinner of them all. You don't know if you have a lot to fix, something small. Maybe you're so far from the truth. Maybe you're so close. You don't know nothing about yourself. So why bother to suffer so much on planning and thinking and... and, and Go for your life and go do good things and ask for Hashem Barach to guide you and to lead you and for sure that he's going to do that. Because he's a machir mitzah de gaver. He's going to bring you to your footsteps, to the path that you need to walk in. You just need to commit yourself in the will. That's the only thing that we have that is free in our hand. It's the free choice, the b'chirach of shit. So choose, choose to do whatever it takes. So now this, this night you, you, you can't sleep. Okay, great, so don't sleep. So in that night you cannot eat, in that evening you can, okay, so don't eat, what? so you're going to lose one meal. So what? In a few hours you're going to eat, you're going to complete your lack, don't worry. The food is not running away from, we're not allowed to eat ever minachai. The, the, the food that we're eating is not running. We don't eat uh, live snails and, and, and oysters that can run away from your plate. Everything is cooked and well shecht and well checked. And everything is great. It's not running nowhere, so it won't be hot. Okay, so you're going to eat. Today you're going to eat cold food. Nothing, no harm, nothing even bad happened. One meal that won't be so hot. Okay. I'm begging you, Abraham, please. Each and every one of us have that huge power inside of ourselves. And I'm going to keep on saying it, keep on saying it. And we don't believe in ourselves enough. We don't believe in ourselves enough. We don't believe in ourselves enough. Every time you got a bill, oh, what am I going to do with my panasa? Like it's the first time that that bill came to you, to you, first time. Like it's the first time that you got a bill, first time. What am I going to do now? Your wife is arguing with you. Oh, what am I going to do now with my Shalom Bait? Like it's the first time that your wife is arguing with you. Like you haven't learned no lesson. Now you have issues with your kids in school. Like it's the first time. What am I going to do? My kid, no, what happened? Now you feel sick. I don't, you have pains in your back. So what? No, you don't know. I do. I went through the same. You know what I went through? You don't know what I went through. And I remember that you also went through so much, so it's okay, so just get used to it and ready, prepare yourself to the war and understand that that is a war zone and you need to fight and you should love the war, you should love to fight, enjoy, that's, that's, the, that's life, milchemet ha-yetzer, fight against the yetzer ara. Every letter, oh, maybe it's from the bank. Every situation, oh, a phone, maybe it's my wife. Uh, why are you afraid so much? Stop, relax. Yes, it's your wife and she's screaming. Prepare yourself. Hello, yes, how can I help? What can I do? Okay, come home now. Okay, I'm coming. What's the problem? If you're going to be humble, okay, so it's a debt. Okay, you need to pay. Great, okay, so I'm going to do what it takes to, to pay that. And okay, we'll do, we'll manage. Fears are taking your thoughts somewhere else, and that's it, and now you're lost. Because of what? Another payment, another argument, another discussion, another situation with your child. Okay, you can deal with everything. If you're not going to be scared, if you're going to just look into the eyes of fear, you're not going to be afraid. Tell him, yes, what do you want from me? What's your problem? Okay, what? 300 shekels, 3,000 shekels, 30,000 shekels? Okay, we'll deal with it. So what? You can deal with whatever is going to come. If you understand, like Rabenu is saying, if, why a person is suffering from a certain situation, because he thinks that it's going to be like that forever. Oh, another 30 years of those troubles, another 30 years of, of poverty, so he cannot stand the years. The years are not exist. We just spoke about it. It's, it's your imagination. Now you need to deal with the situation. Now. Now you have a debt of seven million dollars on your head. Okay, so what? <laughs> now, now you owe, you owe me seven million dollars. Okay, I want that money. You cannot pay. So what happened? Now deal with me. What's your problem? I'm sorry. Apologize. Okay, I don't have the money. What? Nothing. The thoughts. What? 
They're going to call me every day and they from the IRS and my wife and she will argue with me. And then you have all, my, all of those imaginations that are sitting on your head and you collapse from the weight. But the truth is that now with the worst situation, chas shalom, a person can deal. With the worst situation of them all, you can deal. We saw people that, that survived the hardest situations of them all. So you can survive, so you can hold on. Just don't let the fears penetrate and make you scared and make you afraid and, and stressed. What I'm going to do, how I'm going to deal with that situation and this and that and friends and family and parents and oh, they're going to call again. Let them call again. You don't have to answer. You don't need to do nothing. If you choose not to do so, don't do nothing. Be yourself, be feel complete and good and happy with yourself and be who that you are. And now if you're enough humble to understand that it's not in your hands, you can apologize. Come to that person, tell him, listen, I want to give you, I'm sorry. Your wife is screaming. Tell her, okay, I'm sorry, I was wrong. What else can I do if that's your truth? So you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't suffer from no situation. Every situation, you have the ability to cross that situation, to get over it. So what is going to take from you? A word of truth, a little bit of humility to admit, to apologize. It's not so hard when you're humble, when you're arrogant. So no, they're attacking me. Who are they to tell me? And I am, and I am doing so much, and I and all of the imaginations. And then you suffer. But if you understand, it's all in the hands of Hashem. And I couldn't care less about my honor. I don't care about that at all. I just want to serve Him. And if now I need to apologize, <laughs> what's the problem? Chaim, I'm sorry. I apologize, really. From the bottom of my heart, it's tired of Him. So, what's the problem? It's tired. Sorry, Abraham, I'm mentioning your names in my classes. So, I apologize to you all. Hila. It's not that hard to apologize. It's not that hard. Just you need to live with Hashem Barach, And then when you understand that it, it's the will of Hashem Barach, you see a person stands in front of you. Now you're going to try to think if it's the right thing for me to apologize. Or, you, that person doesn't have no doubt. He's suffering. He doesn't have no wisdom. He's a fool that needs honor. He's asking for your apologizing. He's asking you to apologize. He's demanding you to respect him now. Except of having mercy on that person and tell him I'm sorry. Why do you care? Tell him I'm sorry. Why you need to care so much about yourself now? I haven't done nothing, but I didn't do nothing. It was him, it was her, it was they. Why, why, what's the problem to say I'm sorry? I'm sorry. Sorry, Shmuel. Sorry, what's the problem? If you will understand, he needs your apologizing. He needs you to ask for forgiveness. What's your problem? What's your problem? To have a little bit drop of Rachmanut to say, I'm sorry. What's the problem? Husbands not saying to their wives, I love you. Hey, screwed up with the fuck. <laughs> I don't love her. What about sugar? You don't love her because you have lust for women, because you love the, 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 the women on Vogue or I don't know what in the, in the newspapers. That's why you don't love her. Why you don't love her? Because your mind, your brain is contaminated with other pictures, with other women, other stories of friends, the dead wives, angels on earth. Okay, imaginations. <laughs> imaginations. Trust me, it's imagination. You don't love your wife, like the, the, the Torah is saying, no, because you have lust for other women, that's why you don't have a heart to feel your wife that she needs you to, to love her. So what's the problem to love her? Love her. Is it so hard for you to love? It's hard for you because you don't have a heart, because you don't feel, because you are arrogant, because you care about yourself. But if you have a heart and you understand there's a woman here that she needs me, that she loves me, that she cares about me, Okay, so what's the problem to give back love? What's the problem? I love you. And really, from the bottom of my heart, I love you. Shmuel, I love you. From the bottom of my heart. Ruven, I love you. What's the problem? You can love everyone. 
And especially your wife, you cannot love your wife. Are you sick in your mind? What's the problem to love your wife? She's so good. She helped you so much until today. She, 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 even, she even accepted you to live with you. She made that horrible mistake and she, she took you in. You cannot have Rachmanut on her, a drop of mercy. She's so crazy. Made the mistake of her life and brought you in and then she washes the dishes and, and your clothes and makes food for you. Poor woman. No, I don't love her. Sick, sick. Those people are, are the sickest, no much. Okay, so, Baruch Hashem. And we're healthy and everything is good. <laughs> Okay. Veruach Sarah al Sarah. Hainu Shubhinat Ketz Kol Basar. All of the judgments, all of the difficulties, all of the, the, the kitrugim, all of the bad thoughts, all of judgments. Ubhinat Achara Dvarim are coming from after the words, like we said. Hu Yonek Madibur takes out from power of speech, from the creation, from the source of the beginning, the roots of creation. Menase Ruach Sarah Kanal. And the storm is coming, like we said. So that storm is coming from purity, from pure place, from the creation of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. On that Yetzirah is jumping. Yetzirah, it's like a thief, it's like a robber. He's trying to steal good stones, golden coins. He's after something, after something pure. He's not coming to, to steal nonsense, earth, ground. He's taking things that are, are, are important. He's trying to, he's not going to steal air. It's trying to, to steal things that are valuable. So immediately when you have some understandings, like we said before, you realize how Hashem Yitbarach leads the world, how Hashem Yitbarach is doing things. You have new understandings, new wisdom. Yetzirah is jumping all over those situations on those understandings. And you need to fight back. You need to remember that Yetzirah is coming from Hashem Yitbarach. And there's a lesson, there's a wisdom inside of it. Why Hashem Itbarach is bringing that Yetzirah? Why do I need to go through those difficulties? Maybe I can humiliate myself. In the moment that you're going to surrender and you're going to accept humiliation, that you're going to crown Hashem Itbarach on that situation, you won't have those difficulties in your life anymore. You're not going to suffer from that. Thank you very much. Chazak Baruch. Yofi. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Obi from the Amuna channel here in Jerusalem. Subscribe to the channel. It means a lot to us. It means a lot to Rav Jor. So show me some love. Show Rav Jor some love. Subscribe to the channel. We post new videos almost every single day. Awesome classes like this. If you have any questions on the classes you just watched or just other questions that you have or comments that you want to tell us, post them in the comments below. And we do a question answer session every single week. So we'll either answer your question in that on video or we'll make sure to get you an answer. And of course, check out immunachannel.com, awesome website where we have tons more inspirational content. We have videos, blogs, music, and all sorts of cool stuff. So get involved over there at immunachannel.com, and we'll see you in the comments.